Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Emily and I'll be guiding you through a 60 minute vinyasa flow practice today. I want to remind you that this is your own practice so please feel free to add something in, to take something out. Really only take what you need and leave anything that you don't. This is for you. Let's begin in child's pose. We'll bring the knees wide on the mat, toes to touch. Arms reaching forward and connecting third eye down. Just notice if you can allow the hips to sink a little closer to the heels. Relaxing through the shoulders, through the jaw and the brow. Beginning to notice your breath. Without making any changes to start, just notice where you are as you come to your mat. Listening to the sounds of your breath, noticing how it feels as it moves through the body, what changes come as you take an inhale and exhale. Please keep in mind that child's pose is available to you at any time. You can always come back here, you know what you need, and your breath will always tell you when you need to rest. So if you ever lose the breath, you can come back right here to find it again, to allow it to bring you back to your practice, back to your mat, back to this space that's just yours. This hour is for you, you've set aside the time to be here. So let go of everything else, Nothing needs your attention right now, just your mat and your breath. Before beginning our more active practice, I invite you to take some time to think about what peace means to you. How does it feel in your body, in your mind? How does it feel in your breath and in your heart? What sounds do you associate with the word peace? What words do you associate with it? Just thinking about some of those things that come to mind when you start thinking about peace, thinking about feeling peaceful, at ease. I invite you to use the mantra for practice today. I am peace knowing that it's already within you, it's something that you already have. Sometimes the outside world gets to us and takes us away from that place, but know that you always have it, you can always come back to it. And on your mat today, let's begin here. Let's start with this mantra, breathing in, I am peace. Breathing out, I am peace. notice at any time in your practice that you're not feeling that peace, do something that will bring you back there, whether it's thinking of one of those words that brings you to peace, whether it's just coming back to the breath and stillness, slowing things down. There's no right or wrong, so whatever it is for you, that is what you should do. Let's take two more breaths here in stillness in your child's pose. Now we'll begin to bring ourselves up to seated, drawing thighs together. If it's comfortable, staying seated here with hips to heels, but if not, just finding any other comfortable seated position. Connecting our breath with movement. On the inhale, we'll sweep the arms wide, maybe hips lift off the heels as we look up to the hands, palms touch. Exhale, hands draw to your heart center, draw that energy in. Let's take another one like that. Inhale, we sweep, we reach, we lift. Exhale, everything comes back to the heart. Bringing your right fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, left arm up and all the way over with your exhale, bending into the side body. Maybe gaze looks up under the left arm. One more inhale. Exhale, sink. 
Inhale to come back up through neutral. Left hand rests to the outside of the right thigh. Right arm reaches up with the inhale. And exhale for a twist. Maybe gaze comes towards the right fingertips, towards the back of your room here. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Coming back through neutral on the inhale. Left fingertips coming down. Right arm reaches up. And with the exhale, we sink, we soften. Another inhale here for space. Exhale, maybe bending a little more, finding that space in the side body. Inhaling up to center, right hand, left thigh, left arm lifts, inhale. Exhale, we twist, maybe gazing towards the back of the room. Left arm is actively reaching, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale brings us through center. And exhale to settle here. Making your way to your tabletop. Wrists coming underneath the shoulders, knees below the hips. Take your time setting up, finding the space that works. Fingers spread nice and wide. You can see the mat between all your fingers here, really grounding through index fingers and thumbs. Coming into your cat and cow breathing. Inhale, dropping the belly, lift the chest, the tailbone, the gaze. And exhale, press to the hands, round through the spine, gaze comes low. Inhale, as you open, you lift, expand. Exhale, round and draw in. Continuing with your breath, inhale for space. Exhale, look inward, maybe activating your ujjayi breathing if that's in your practice. Slight constriction at the back of the throat on the exhale for that ocean-like sound, keeping us calm, keeping us in a peaceful place. In and out through the nose, equal inhale, equal exhale. On the next inhale, we'll still come through our cow belly breath, but we'll tuck the toes this time. And on the exhale, lifting hips up to downward facing dog. Just staying here with that exhale. On the inhale, coming back, cow belly breath, knees down, chest lifts, tail lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming through those two movements, inhaling as we lower with control, opening the heart. Exhale, connection to core to lift the hips high. Finding a couple more cycles to connect your breath and movement. This is your own time. Move in a way that works for you. And on the next inhale, we'll come back down to the knees, untuck the toes, exhale, sit hips to heels. Inhale, we'll open the arms out wide, maybe hips lift. Exhale, give yourself a hug, right arm over left, round the upper back, chin tucks in. Inhale, open and expand. Exhale, left arm over right, round right in. One more to each side, inhale, we open, shine the heart. Exhale, show yourself some love, some compassion. Inhale, open, feel that space. Exhale, reverse. Left fingertip, right fingertips down. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale, just one breath here to sink. Left hand, right thigh. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale to your twist. Left fingertips down. Inhale, right. Exhale, sink. Right hand down. Inhale, left. Exhale, twist. Coming back to your table. This time extending the right leg behind you, but keep the toes tucked to the mat. Active press into the palms, into the right toes to lift the left knee towards the chest. Breathing, connect to core, rounding through the upper back. One more full cycle of breath, deep inhale. Long exhale. Inhale, sense the left leg all the way up, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands, lower the right knee, keep the toes tucked. One breath, circle with the arms, inhale. Exhale, circling down and back, palms plant. We send the left leg up next, inhale. Exhale, left foot to the outside of the right foot to walk the hands back into a twisted forward fold with the legs. 
and settling in here with the breath, bending knees as much as you need. Next inhale, beginning to walk the hands forward, uncross the legs, downward facing dog. Finding a nice long spine, heels sinking towards the mat, don't worry how close they are. Shoulders are soft, face is relaxed. One more inhale. And on the exhale, we'll lower knees down to the mat. Sending left toes out behind you, toes are tucked. Right knee draws into the chest, find the core. Keep that rounding in the upper back, connection, index finger and thumb. Next breath in, send the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhaling, right foot between the hands, lower to the left knee, toes are tucked. Inhale, sweep the arms, low lunge. Exhale, circling through the shoulders, plant the palms. Inhale, right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot to the outside of the left, finding that twist in the legs as we walk the hands back. Settling in on an exhale. Next inhale, walking hands forward, downward facing dog, and cross the legs. Settle in. Keeping hips high, that means bending the knees as much as you need to keep the spine long. So if you're rounding in the back, think about taking a bend to the knees, pressing chest to thighs. From our downward dog, we'll inhale, roll the body forward, high plank. And exhale, hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, comes forward, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look to the hands, take as many steps as you like to walk the feet to the top of the mat. Arriving in a passive forward fold, maybe holding opposite elbows for ragdoll. Maybe swaying side to side from the hip or staying in stillness. You know what you need. I am peace. You have it within. Come to that place. Releasing hands down. Inhale, roll the body up to stand through the spine. Head arrives last. Exhale. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, down and back. Inhale, reaching arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, long spine, half lift. Exhale, hands plant down, stepping to your high plank. Pause here. Always having the option to lower to the knees. One more inhale. On the exhale, we'll lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes, palms are light, inhale for low cobra, chest lifts, and exhale back down. Let's take another one, inhale, low cobra, hands are light, maybe they lift. Exhale, lower ground through the palms, this time we come up to our table, tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing here for three breaths, deep breath in, long breath out. If you're working with Ujjayi, listen for that ocean-like sound. Find your victorious breath, keeping you in the moment, keeping you calm. Next inhale, we'll bend the knees, look to the hands. This time, step or walk the feet to the top of the mat. Halfway lift as you arrive. Exhale to fold. Root to rise. Inhale, circle the arms, come all the way up to stand. Fingertips lift. Exhaling to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms, gaze lifts, heart is open. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, hands to the mat or the shins. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step to your plank, pause here. Inhale here. Option to come through Chaturanga if it's in your practice. Maybe lowering the knees through half Chaturanga. Maybe coming all the way to the mat. Inhaling, maybe upward dog, maybe you're staying with your low cobra all the way down. And on the exhale, we'll meet in our downward facing dog. 
Pausing here. Being mindful of your practice, listening to your body on your vinyasas or your flow. Know that you can always modify, you can skip. We use vinyasa to reset the breath and the body between, between sequences. We can do the same thing by coming to the breath in child's pose or in cat-cow. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale here at the bottom of the exhale, bend the knees, look to the hands, step walk or float forward, halfway lift as you arrive. And exhale to your fold. Inhale, root to rise, all the way to stand, gaze lifts. Moving straight with the breath, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full plant the palms, step or float back, maybe chaturanga, maybe all the way to the mat. Inhaling, upward facing dog, low cobra, your choice. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, one. Exhale, let it go. Deep breath in for two. Long breath out. Breathing in for three. Exhaling, bend the knees, look to the hands, step walk or float forward, finding your halfway lift. Exhale to your fold. Root to rise, we come up to stand, take up space, reach, grow. Exhale to your heart center. This time, inhale, bend the knees, stay low with the exhale, Utkatasana. Staying here with the breath, one more inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands touch down, then straighten the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, row. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back to chaturanga or all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. This time, left heel turns it in grounds, right foot comes between the hands for warrior one. Inhale, we rise. Exhaling, straight away, hands frame the right foot, stepping back, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot turns in and grounds, left foot forward, inhale to rise. Exhale, framing left foot, stepping back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward dog. Pausing here, find the breath. to that long steady breath. Maintain that through your practice. Anytime you've lost it, it's okay. Just notice and come back. One more breath in. On the exhale, bending knees, look to hand, step walk or float forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms, stay low, Katasana, stay here. Making sure you can see your toes here. If your knees have gone past, take a look. Maybe come out and then sink back down. Maybe not as much. Arms can stay apart or together, your choice. Shoulders away from ears, long spine, we breathe. Next inhale, we come all the way to stand. Exhale, swan dive forward, heart is open. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold this time, stepping to downward dog. From your downward dog, inhaling right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Setting up for our high lunge here, stay high on the back leg. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, left hand to the right quad. Maybe right arm stays here, maybe we reach to the back wall. Staying long through the spine with your inhales. Maybe finding a deeper twist on your exhale, gaze towards the fingers. Maybe you'll stay here. Maybe right hand will come to the left hamstring, not the knee. Maybe left arm reaches up, your choice. Keeping that space across the left side body. Gazing maybe down towards the left foot at the back of the mat. One more deep breath. Inhale brings us all the way up through center. Pressing off the left foot, left knee towards the chest. And exhale, Utkatasana. 
Recentering out your weight, checking in, toes are visible, do a little dance. Long spine. Finding the breath. It is there to support you, it is there to be your guide, don't forget it. From your Utkatasana, we'll toe heel the feet a little bit wider, about 10 into a clock. Hands to your heart center and we're sinking to Malasana. This too, if this is too much, hands can stay down, you can be onto the toes. Your choice, if it feels all right, elbows to the inner thighs here, palms to touch. Steadying the breath, steadying the gaze. Releasing hands down, inhale, straightening the legs, heel toe the feet back together. Bending into just the left knee, left hand stays down, we'll inhale, right arm to the sky. Left hand can be on fingertips, palm, maybe to the left shin. Thinking about stacking right shoulder over left for the twist, maybe gaze comes up. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, slight bend to the right knee, stepping left foot to the back of the mat. High lunge legs, but staying here in the twist. Really nice. We'll bring the right hand down. Inhale, circle the arm forward. And on the exhale, we're opening up to the outer edges of both feet. Right fingertips to the back wall, reaching. Opening into the right hip, keeping feet flexed for support. Finding a little bit of movement if you like. Inhale, reaching right hand forward. Exhale, we sink back down, hips come to hover. Inhale, forward, we lift. Exhale, we sink. One more like that, inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. This time, inhale, we still lift. On the exhale, we move all the way over to the other side of the mat for a high skandasana. So both feet are parallel here. We're gonna bring the upper body a little higher, bending into just the right knee only, arms reaching like warrior two. Find the breath, send the hips back, spine is long, upper body close to parallel to the mat. Maybe staying here, maybe inhale, straightening right leg. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, straighten left. Exhale, bend right. Beautiful. Pivoting onto the toes to plant the palms down, stepping right foot back to the left. Option to come through vinyasa or head straight to downward dog. Finding a few breaths wherever you need to be, whether it's your down dog or child or somewhere else. Side of the left quad, maybe stay here, maybe left arm reaches back. Staying active in both legs, right knee is straight. Keeping that left arm actively reaching to open across the chest as we twist. Maybe stay, maybe left hand to the right hamstring, not the knee. Maybe right arm reaches up and back. off the right toes, still inhale, right knee towards the hip, and exhale, Utkatasana. Settling in, take your time. Find that sweet spot where you can see the toes, but we're still sinking into that chair. Find the breath. Toe heel the feet a little bit wider, sinking back to Malasana with our exhale. Maybe closing the eyes if it feels comfortable, or maybe just steadying the gaze on one point. 
and you're drifting, not to be distracted by anything around you, but just finding somewhere where you can focus. Releasing hands down, straighten the legs, inhale, toe heel feet back together, right hand staying down, shin or mat, inhale, left arm to the sky, right knee bends. Finding that lift across the chest, opening into the left shoulder. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, we'll send the right leg back, slight bend to the left knee, keeping the right hand down, fingertips or flat your choice. Beautiful, inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, left hand comes down. Moving with the breath, inhale, circle forward. On the exhale, rolling to outer edges of the feet, finding that twisted dragon and left fingertips to the back wall. Maybe coming through the movement. Inhale, lift the hips, left fingertips forward. Exhale, we hover left hand back. Inhale, left bicep to ear, we reach. Exhale, lower. One more like this. Inhale, find the space. Exhaling down. Inhale, we come back to that lift. On the exhale, moving all the way over to Skandasana. Staying high again in the legs here, bending to just the left knee, arms reaching in line with the shoulders, sending hips back. Feeling that stretch, that space into the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, straighten left leg. Exhale, bend right. Inhale, straighten right. Exhale, bend left. Pivot on the feet, plant the palm, step left foot to meet the right, and we flow. One more breath wherever you are right now. Connecting deep inhale. Long exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Coming back to our high lunge legs. This time arms in line with the shoulders. Right arm wraps under the left for eagle or garudasana arms. Maybe reaching hands to opposite shoulders, that's perfect. Maybe backs of the hands coming to touch, or maybe reaching palms to touch. Wherever you are, elbows lifting in line with shoulders. If hands are touching, hands are pressing away from the face. Keep that space in the upper back. Maybe you'll stay here in stillness. Maybe you'll move with me. Inhale, we lift elbows. Exhale, round the spine, elbows to the right knee. Inhale, lift, find the space. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, we open, shining the back of the heart. Exhale, come inward. Beautiful. Next inhale, pressing off the left toes, left knee lifts in line with the hip, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, send the leg back, unwind the arms, airplane arms for warrior three. Keeping that length from the crown of the head through to the left heel. Having a micro bend to the right knee, not locking out the joints. Left pinky toe is facing down to the mat to keep the hips level. One more breath in. Exhale, left toes land down to the back of the mat, finding your high lunge legs. Left arm stays down. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, twisted dragon. Inhale, lift the hips, this time moving all the way to Skandasana. Sinking in. If a low skandasana feels good, sink low. If not, come back to that space where we're nice and high. Your choice. Maybe right heel's lifted, maybe not. Maybe you stay here, maybe we inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink left. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink right. Pivoting on to the ball of the left foot, hands come down. Press off the left toes for standing split. 
finding the length in the left leg, not worrying about that height, but use the strength of the leg to lift. Upper body towards the right leg. Maybe staying here in stillness. Maybe inhale, length and gaze forward. Exhale, round the spine, knee to chest, both knees bent. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, find the space. Exhale, chest. One more inhale, we lift. On the exhale, bend the right knee, left toes back of the mat, plant the palms, we move through vinyasa, reset. Finding stillness in your down dog. One more full cycle of breath. Inhaling left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Round down to rise. Arms reaching out. Left arm under the right this time. Coming to your Garudasana arms. Finding that space in the upper back. Wherever you are, elbows are lifted. Come back to that breath. Back to that place of peace no matter what's going on around you. Inhale, maybe elbows lift. Exhale, we round. Draw in. Inhale, open up the heart, back and front. Exhale, come in. One more full cycle. Find the space, find the lift. Exhale, come inward. Really nice. Inhale, pressing off the right toes, one leg into Dasana. And exhale, warrior three. Keeping the fingertips reaching back, shoulder blades drawing towards one another, heart is open. Really grounding into the left foot, stay with the wobbles, it's all good. No matter what's happening, it is just right. One more breath in here. And on the exhale, landing right toes back of the mat, right hand stays down, inhale, circle left arm. Exhale, Twisted Dragon. Inhale, lift the hips, moving all the way over. Exhale, Skandasana. Taking a moment to sink in, to feel what it feels like on this side. And then maybe finding that movement. Inhale, straightening through center. Exhale, sink. Inhale for center. Exhale, sink. Pivoting, plant the palms. Pressing off right toes, standing split. Taking the time to first find the space, find the length. And then maybe coming through some movement. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, knees bend, right knee to chest. Inhale, lift, gaze forward. Exhale, round, draw right in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come in. One more inhale, lift, lengthen. And exhale, we lower right toes down, plant the palms, move through your vinyasa. Whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like. in your down dog, find the space, and we'll inhale, right leg, three-legged dog, exhale, right foot between the hands, twisted dragon, inhale, right arm, exhale, open, inhale through center, exhale, skandasana, just one breath here, this time coming back through center, inhale, pressing off the left toes, finding our standing split, option to stay here. Option, left hand comes a little farther forward, coming into our revolved half moon. Maybe right hand comes to the right hip. Maybe we lift the gaze towards the right shoulder. Maybe right arm reaches. Thinking about stacking shoulders right over left, reaching right fingertips. One more inhale. 
exhale back, right hand comes down. Slight bend to the right knee, we inhale up, one legged Tadasana, we are strong. Exhale, left cut leg comes over the right, Girodasana, left arm under right. Maybe left toes staying grounded here, find your support. Maybe left toes are lifted but active. And if the double bind is in your practice, maybe you're going there. Elbows are lifted, find the space. Maybe staying here, three more breaths. Maybe inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, round, draw in. Inhale, open. Find your grounding through the right foot. Exhale, come in. One more deep breath in, we lift. Exhale, come in. From wherever you are, inhale, we all unwind. Lift the left knee. Exhale, palms touch, we fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full plant the palms, step or float back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, upward dog, shine the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just one more breath here in our down dog this time. And the next inhale, lifts the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, we open up, twisted dragon. Inhale to come forward, moving all the way. Skandasana, exhale. Inhale, forward, fingertips plant. Exhale, standing split. Maybe staying here. If you came to your revolved half moon, let's come again. Right hand comes a little farther forward, wrist under the right shoulder, left hand, left hip, and maybe we're opening left arm. Finding that length, reaching back, reaching up, reaching forward and down, everywhere we are lengthening. Finding space, one more inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down, slight bend to the left knee as we inhale up to stand, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, right leg over left, right arm under. Taking the time to find the variation that works for you. And then choosing three more breaths, maybe stillness, maybe inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Crown down to grow. Exhale in. One more full cycle. Exhale, we come in. From wherever you are, inhale, open, unwind, lift. Exhale, left, right foot down, hands touch, we fold. Inhale, half lift, grow. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding a full cycle of breath, deep breath in. Maybe exhale through the mouth, let it go. One more like that, breathe it in. Exhale, anything you don't need. This time we'll inhale the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Rounding into the foot, we're coming all the way up, one-legged Tadasana, inhale. Exhale, back to Giridasana, right leg over left, right arm under left. Just one breath here this time. And then we're unwinding the arms, reaching them out behind us, soaring eagle, shine the heart, really feel that space across your wingspan. Fingertips reaching back, maybe they'll flutter, why not? Keep reaching, shine the heart forward, gazes forward. Inhale, let's come all the way up, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, opening up to the right side of the mat, goddess. Bending into knees, bending elbows. Knees and toes, same direction. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, sink to your goddess, hips coming down. Another breath in. Exhale, sink. 
We're moving to the back of the mat now, hands framing the right foot at the back of the mat. Left hand stays down, inhale the right arm. Coming to our side plank, left outer edge of the foot comes down. Right foot might stack, stagger, maybe right left knee comes down. Finding the option that works for you, left wrist under the shoulder. One more inhale, right leg lifts. Bend right knee to find wild thing. Ball of the right foot comes down. Arm reaching up and back. Opening across the front of the body. One more inhale. And exhale. All the way down. Beautiful. Should be facing the front of the mat now with the right knee bent, left leg long. We'll cross the right leg to the outside of the left. Right fingertips behind the body. Inhale, left arm. On the exhale, left elbow outside of the right thigh for your twist. Left toes staying flat. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to find your twist. Maybe gazing over the right shoulder. And then inhale, we'll come back for center. Bringing the right ankle to the top of the left thigh for a seated figure four. Hands behind the body to bend the left knee, sole of the foot comes down. Keep your right foot flexed to protect the knee, and then you choose how deep you go. So the closer the left foot is, the deeper it'll be. So find what works for you and find that spot and stay there. Keeping chest open so we're not dumping into the shoulders. Keep your neck long in half. Exhale, right hip opens. Let's find one more breath here. We'll extend the left leg, roll over back onto the mat, facing the back in a high plank. Inhale here, exhale through your vinyasa. Beautiful, so we're in down dog, you should be facing the wrong way or the way that we didn't start. Finding a breath here to ground back down. Feel the length in the spine, the length in the backs of the legs. Listen to the breath. With the inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot between the hands to ground sole of the foot. Inhaling all the way up, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, left leg over right, left arm under right, Garudasana. Drawing to the center line of the body, keeping the core strong. One more inhale here. And exhale to fly, open up. Reach fingertips behind you, shine heart forward. Maybe coming back to that flutter in the fingers. Find a little lightness here. Beautiful. Inhale, we unwind, left knee lifts. Exhale, goddess, facing the same side we did before. Elbows bend, knees bend. Maybe this time heels lift off the mat, your choice. Maybe not, it's fine. Whatever works today. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms. Exhale, bend. Maybe you can sink a little lower where there's some more space there for you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. One more deep breath in. Exhale, we bend. Lowering heels if they're lifted, pivoting to frame the left foot top of the mat. Right hand stays down, inhale, left arm to lift. Moving to side plank on the right side. Right foot is down, outer edge of the foot. Maybe left foot stacks, staggers. Take your option. Keeping the hips lifted in line with the body. Nice long line. And inhale, left leg lifts away from the right, bend the knee, finding wild thing, ball of the left foot down, left fingertips reaching. One more inhale, exhale, lower the hips. Facing the back of the mat, right leg is long, left foot crosses to the outside of the right leg, left fingertips behind the body, inhale, right arm. Exhale, elbow to thigh, we twist. Right foot is flexed, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. 
find the space with each breath in. Move to that space each breath out. One more full cycle. Back through center on your inhale. Left ankle to the top of the right quad, hands behind to support. Bending right knee, left foot is flexed for your seated figure four. Maybe hands walk in, maybe right foot comes in. And honor that you might need more resistance or more space on this side. Doesn't matter, just work with it. Carefully release, shifting weight back to straighten out the right leg. Come back onto the mat, find your high plank facing the front of the mat. Inhale here, exhale to flow, bending elbows. Inhale, open the heart, shine high. Exhale, downward dog. From our downward facing dog, we'll inhale, roll forward to your high plank. And on the exhale, lowering all the way to the mat, bring the knees down or not, elbows bent tight to the body. Fingertips come wider than the mat, the mat, tent the palms, so the palms lift, fingertips press down. Inhale, lift the chest through center with control. Exhale, we lower back down. Another one, inhale, this time gaze comes over the right shoulder as we lift. Exhale, back down through center. Inhale, gaze over the left shoulder. Exhale, down through center. One more time, just up through the middle. Inhale, maybe lifting a little higher, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, to lower down. Palms coming underneath the shoulders, pressing hips to heels, knees wide, child's pose. Allow forehead to connect down to the mat, hips sinking to the heels, arms reaching forward. Finding three full complete breaths in stillness here. Deep cycle of breath in. Long breath, let it out. Breathing in, I am peace. Breathe out any part of you that doesn't believe that. One more full breath. Inhale, coming back up, walking fingertips towards the body. If it's comfortable, keeping the legs as they are. If not, find another comfortable seat. We'll bring just the right hand behind the body, fingertips down, tenting the palm. Left hand comes to the heart. Maybe staying here, keeping the hips down. Inhale, we'll start all together. Lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, coming back to a bit of a rounding in the spine through neutral. Maybe coming back there. Maybe this time, inhale, hips lift as we lift the heart. Exhaling back down, supporting with the right fingertips behind you. This time, as we inhale, we lift hips, lift the left arm to reach, shining that space from your heart. Exhale, bring it back in, left hand to heart. One more like that. Inhale, lift, open, create. Exhale, draw in. Coming back to neutral spine, allow it to settle, hands can rest on the thighs, eyes can close or gaze soft. Allowing any sensations in the body to settle. Allow yourself to notice. And we'll bring the left hand behind the body, keeping that tent with the palm, fingertips facing away from you. Right hand starting on the heart. Feel that connection, draw in. Starting just with the lift of the heart. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round, draw in. Maybe staying with that, maybe hips lift this time. As we breathe in, we lift. Exhale, we breathe out, lowering with control. Inhale, allowing the heart to press open, reaching hand to the sky. Exhale, draw that energy back in, back to your heart center. One more full cycle, inhale, we reach, we lift. Exhale, coming back to neutral. Right hand to heart, come to seated. Both hands resting on the heart this time as we find stillness. the rhythm of your 
heartbeats. Allow that to bring you in, to bring you to that place of peace, back to the breath. And then we'll release hands down. Drawing knees together. If it's comfortable, staying seated here or another comfortable seat. Right fingertips down, inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale to your side stretch. Inhale, left hand, right thigh, right arm lifts. Exhale, twist back. Other side, left hand down, inhale, right arm. Exhale, side. Right hand, left thigh, inhale, left arm. Exhale, twist. Coming back through neutral and rounding forward to a classic child's pose with thighs together, body folding over, third eye to the mat, arms resting. Trusting this place that you've created, all the space you've created for yourself. Finding two more breaths here. And then slowly in your own time, rolling over onto your back. Take your time to arrive there. Hugging knees into the chest, maybe arms wrap around the legs. And listening to your body here, if it's asking for a rock side to side, or if it's asking you to stay still. You know what you need in this moment, in every moment. All you have to do is listen. And we'll extend arms out in line with the shoulders. Toes coming down to the mat, shifting hips slightly to the left so the knees can fall over to the right on an exhale. Maybe gaze comes over the left shoulder, maybe right hand comes to your heart, drawing your energy back in. Back to that space of peace that you have, that's always there. Releasing right arm back down, gaze through center, inhale, legs to center. Shifting hips slightly to the right, so exhale, knees fall to the left. Gaze coming over the right shoulder, left hand to heart. Feeling that connection with yourself. Softening the breath. Inhaling, gaze through center, left arm releases, knees through center. One last wrap around the legs. Give yourself a big hug, squeeze in. Maybe sending a message of gratitude to your body for everything it's already done for you today. Gratitude to the breath for supporting you, for letting you know what you need. Let's take one more deep inhale, lift forehead to the knees, shoulders lift off the mat, body is as small as can be. And exhale, release to Shavasana. Legs are wide, feet at least the distance, the width of the mat. Arms out to the side, slight tuck of the shoulders to find that space, to keep that space in the heart. Allowing yourself to settle in here to your rest, your relaxation. Scanning the body for anything that doesn't belong, any tension, any remaining thoughts, you don't need them. One last deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh through the mouth. Allow that to help you settle deeper into your Shavasana. And I'll let you know when it's time to bring your awareness back. Let yourself rest.
you're ready, we'll slowly, gradually, reawaken the physical body, maybe starting just with a deeper breath. Maybe you're ready to find some movement, just starting as small as you can, with the fingers, the toes, gradually increasing, finding movement through the wrists and the ankles, maybe reaching the arms overhead, taking a big body stretch, and softening with your exhale. In your own time, rolling over onto the right side of the body, finding your fetal position, stacking knees, hips, shoulders, pause here. Come back to the mantra, breathing in, I am peace. Breathe out anything that doesn't make you feel that way. Pressing into the left hand, bring yourself up to a seated position. Maybe you can keep the eyes closed as you do this, but if not, just keep the gaze low and focused. Finding a comfortable seat where you can sit tall, relaxing shoulders away from the ears, relax the face. We'll draw our palms to touch at the heart center, Namaskar Mudra, thumbs to sternum, feel that connection, mind to heart, heart to body, soul to peace. Peace. It doesn't mean to be in a place where there is no noise, no trouble or chaos. It means to be in the midst of all those things and still be calm in your heart. So remember that you have this space in you. You have this peace. You already are peace. Anytime you don't feel that way, draw yourself back with any of those things that you thought of at the start of practice, whether it's a word, a sound, a, a physical space, whatever it is, remember that you can come back here. Thank you so very much for joining for practice today. I hope that it's left you feeling good. I hope that you can fit, that you can share this feeling with those around you, those who need it. The light in me honors, sees, and bows to that same light that lives within each and every one of you. Keep shining bright yogis. Namaste.